the washer going. <sighs> Donovan's at school today. Just gonna do things. 40 year old woman. Am I supposed to be wearing a lot more makeup than this? I don't know. It's supposed to be never really mattered to me. I'm gonna get dressed now. I'm just gonna see what it does when it dries. All right. All right. All right. I have a lot of laundry to fold behind me, so today's gonna be a fun day. He likes to play with the buttons. Um, for anyone who has that problem, this is pretty amazing because uh, you have to. And uh, that's the power button and uh, the pause button. He loves to press. Whatever he can press. <sighs> so, um, um, my hair is doing that thing again it always even if I try to even if I brush it in after moving around for a bit it just yep. my hair is drying as you watch this video see what it does let me grab my brush this lighting is terrible I apologize be better it might be uh, the same, but uh, it's still wet in the back. So YouTube knows I like um, voices and things like that. So I think it decided to recommend to me a video with Tara Strong breaking down her. But if you don't know who Tara Strong is, then you just don't really know voice acting because the second you start looking into voice acting, you should see her name at some point. It comes to animation and things like that. Tara Strong. It was just so cool to see her change her voice so quickly between characters. And I'm like, oh, I can't really do that. Like, I can try, but it's not going to be that clean and cut. And it's just going to be like, oh, she, okay, so she's doing different voices. Uh, obviously, she's been doing this for a long time and she's very talented. I just been playing around by myself, and I'm just me, so <laughs> it's a cool video to see if you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. But it was fun to hear his voice go from something like this. Something like this really quickly. It was really kind of cool. I like to do things like that too.
where I inward talk like this. I don't know what purpose it serves, but it does sound a little mechanical. It's just hard to say long sentences because I'm talking in words. So there's that. I tend to have a bit of an impediment when I speak in words um, that I can't seem to stop. That's interesting. Um, interesting to note. Have you ever tried speaking in words? Do you have an impediment speaking in words? Do you have one speaking out words? Is there a difference? I can do this voice too. The problem with this one is I'm clearly not doing it right because it does start bothering me after a little while. So I can't do this one for very long, but I can do it for a decent amount of time. I can do, and I can do the gee whiz, Uncle Scrooge and all that stuff because I think it's hilarious. I think it's hilarious to make fun of Uncle Donald. Gee whiz. I can do voices like this, the ones that are coming out of your nose. I like it when they come out of your nose. I think it's hilarious when they come out of your nose. Um, oh, and I was watching, <laughs> I was watching Jamie French, da, ba, like, da. You're one of my more obnoxious voices. Besides my own. Hi, can you see me? Hi, oh my god, I'm dancing, I'm dancing. I love water. I love it so much. You know what's that? Uh, I was looking for my phone. I can't find my phone. Uh, where is my phone? Where is it? <laughs> I'm sorry. It doesn't make any sense and it's stupid, <laughs> but it makes me laugh. And sometimes you need that, like <laughs> I used to do the Ms. Doubtfire voice. Like, ah! And then I did a weird exaggeration of it. This again, this is on a cassette tape somewhere. Because I used to do that and then I used to do some high speed dubbing to listen to it in Chipmunk. I did all these weird things, which is why I'm doing this weird thing, because me. What I had done was I was doing these fake love lines. And the host was named Vera! And she was inspired by Miss Doubtfire, but sounded like this. Ooh, it was an exaggeration! This is a shout out to a cousin of mine, by the way. They know who they are. But they called in and they said, Hi, I'm calling. Uh, my Nintendo is broken. Can you fix it? Your Nintendo has nothing to do with love, but I love it. And then she hangs up on him. Stupid, stupid love lines, but they were fun. I do the, the valley girl voice all the time, and I ended up putting that with, you know, Mad Anth and say, hi. I don't know why, it just kind of came out that way. I don't even understand. It's like that kind of thing. <laughs> And there's the baby voice that I have for Randy, but... That was a BS call, so don't even worry about it. So, now my hair is like almost completely dry. With this big, poofy, mullet, hawk thing. Look, this is... Okay. Hey, okay. Carolac. I'm gonna play a character. Okay. I'm a mom. Okay, okay, now? Now I'm a punk. I'm such a punk. Watch. Velcro, Velcro hair, Velcro hair. Do you see it? I'm such a punk. They call me Egghead Punk. I don't know why they call me Egghead. Okay, this is what we're going with. I'm gonna eat some breakfast because it's probably later than I think. I'm gonna eat some breakfast. And I'll actually record something like official instead of this random little haphazard thing that I did here. We'll see.